Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. And today we are going to play with the most popular tank in the world of tanks. Skill, what is the most popular tank in the world of tanks? Leo 1. You do not believe me? Watch this. If you would pay attention over there, Leo 1 have the most played battles over 60 days. And to be completely honest with you, um, it is... It is a lot of tank to love skill what do you mean by saying that okay let's let's talk about this how leo one gun is looking like leo one gun is absolutely amazing and absolutely glorious if you know what i mean it's just it's just great right leo has a good mobility leo has um overall quite nice platform gun depression only one thing what this vehicle is missing is probably the armor but you know you cannot have it all you just simply can't uh, considering how accurate the gun is how good high explosive ammunition uh, are you know um, so yeah leo is heads down one of the best tanks in the tier 10 uh, medium category or overall you know if this is uh, how your playstyle looks like ooh, leo is a tank to love for sure okay let me get into position i am in the position and now we can have skill now we can have some fun and now we can start punishing enemies going on top of the hill this is one of the most powerful positions to play in, and I believe we can be a humongous pain in the bottom for the enemies. At least this is what I am hoping for, and this is what I think. Okay. I am trying to get into the main spotting position for obvious reasons. I want to slap the enemies without even asking their name. Okay, he knows where I am located, but to be completely honest with you, I do not really care uh, in this situation, okay? I really want to go to the main spotting bush right there, and I want to annoy them. This is my mission, this is my goal, this is what I want to do. And fellas, here we go. Now we are gaming for sure. It is not that easy to counter me from here. Uh, in other words, good luck doing that. And we can be extremely useful for our team while spotting enemy forces. Plus, on top of that, I made a decision to be a spotter in this game pretty much just because... Um, there is no spotters, you know, there is no lights in enemy side, there is no lights on my side, we are pretty much chilling and enjoying ourselves. Meanwhile, hopefully our team <coughs> will be able to take the hill down. If our team is taking the hill down, we are, we are going to be extremely, extremely successful. Now... Obviously, the worst part of all of this, we do not really have anyone sniping from this area here, but uh, that's to be expected and not everyone is paying attention um, at the moment uh, to the tanks I am spotting, you know, it's just, it's just fine, it's just how it goes and there is nothing what we can change about this. I think for the Type 5, he have a big boy, I'm going to load the gold ammunition. And we will try to slap him in a moment. Meanwhile, enemies are losing the hill. Skill, how do you know enemies are losing the hill? As you can see, Patton is running for his life without any questions asked. And he is screaming, he is running, he is saying, Agutuna, it's going to be a bad thing for us. And now we are doing some damage ourselves. Um, that's to be expected to be spotted here, but that's fine. I do not really mind this. And I know that soon we are going to get involved in a bit different ways. Skill, what do you mean in the different ways? Well, my whole plan and whole idea is to get here, right? This is what I would love to see. Also, I have no doubts whatsoever that they have some sniper schnitzels sitting here in the back. So, what I would love to see... I would love to see a simple thing. Okay, they have the guy over there. That makes sense. I would love to see a simple thing, fellas. Those two mother truckers dying and then we have plenty of the sniper schnitzels in the back. Uh, that's what I would love to see. Not so simple, but this is an interesting game, fellas. 
This is an interesting game. Obviously, I need to be smart how am I approaching the enemy forces. Because double Fava in the back, ooh, that is rough and that is definitely complicated. That is rough and that is complicated, fellas, for sure. Where exactly this mother tracker is? We can ping, we can ping uh, to this position here, and I think we can even actually go for a blind fire. Mm -hmm. I'm instantly getting spotted. They have, they have someone in the bushes. That's for sure. The question is how we can counter that boy. The question is how we can counter him, fellas. I know the M60 relocated, not a big deal. Hello, greetings. Ooh, fava. Hello there, enjoying yourself, unfortunate. By the way, I told you that they might have some sniper schnitzers here, and obviously they do. Good, this guy is dead, excellent. Now, the most important question is who is sitting here? Okay. They have tank here. Beautiful. I mean, this might sound weird, fellas, but we are we are having a great time and we are enjoying ourselves. Good, excellent, 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 excellent. Now, let the fun moments begin and let's try to make a bit of pressure. The question is. Am I getting spotted by getting closer like this or not? Because this could be uh, one of the best spotting runs, but I, uh, but I'm a bit paranoid by this because if I would get, oh yes, hello there. If I would get out spotted, this would be extremely bad, you know. But you know what? Let's try to risk it for the biscuit. Let's try to risk it for the biscuit. How about that? Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how I can do this. Now, I have a different uh, approach. I have a different idea. Listen, there is a chance they went for a deep uh, sniper schnitzel uh, uh, situation here. Enemy grilla drowned. Uh, not a big surprise. Not a big surprise, fellas. Hear me out. Now, we are going sideways like this. Skill-wise, so... Because I think we can be extremely successful in this way. And I think we can farm not only assisting damage, but the damage as well, for obvious reasons. There is still Fava who never been spotted. We need to keep this in mind. And we need to watch out to a certain extent, right? We cannot, uh, we cannot mess this up. Meanwhile, I'm loading uh, high explosives for Cupola of this guy. Or if I'm not going to hit his Cupola... I would still do a little bit of damage, which is which is good, you know, and this is exactly what I'm looking for. Now, we want to go in. Oh, we know where Grille is. Grille is sitting right there. Now, we are going in. Not the most ideal uh, game ever, right? That's for sure, but I think we did, we did an okay job here. For a, warming, for a warming up, we are going to be super happy about this and we will say thank you. Meanwhile, we are go going in, a bit of the ramming, high explosive in the face, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful game. I mean, there is a lot of things to love about this tank, let's be honest, fellas. The speed of the Leo 1 is great. The gun handling is absolutely insanity. Uh, the sneakiness level is alright as well. I mean, you have a choice. Um, whenever your team is melting, you can uh, you can try to make pressure. Whenever your team... Um, Okay, um, I said this wrong. Whenever your team is melting, you can take the safe defense parameter and you can try to punish enemies from the distance. Whenever your team is winning, you can chase for damage. Like, there is no tomorrow, right? You can, you can do many, many things. Look at this ramming, fellas. 
We went for this mother trucker and we rammed the living crap out of him. What a great game, fellas. But you know, in the same time, this is the sticky of the Leo one. Solid 5,000 damage and quite a lot of assisting damage as well. Let's see the score. And we are back. Beautiful score. 5,000 damage, 2.9 thousand assisting damage. Very, very, very nice. We scored first by experience. We scored first by the damage. And we made solid 74,000 uh, profits as well. That is good, fellas. That is good, and I'm super happy about this. And this is what is Leo is capable of. And keep this in mind that I do not use the better equipment or uh, bounty or bond equipment as well. With that, it would feel even better. Oh, hi there, fjords. Standard battle. We are having a losing spawn, but on the positive note, we have um, a tier 8 matchmaking. So maybe we will be able to do something here. Who knows? First things first. What do we want to do? We want to punish guys crossing into the middle. There is always someone who is trying to get involved in this way. And there is nothing bad about it. It's just how this game goes, right? And as you can see, light tanks are going like this. Okay, Mr. Light Tank, how are you doing? Budget is going up this way. I really dislike this angle. Usually I'm taking this position because it's just easier to aim for me. Now whenever there is so many bushes, we will survive, but it could be definitely better. I need to make sure that I have an escape plan if I am getting spotted for obvious reasons. Because without escape plan, this is going to be a bit dreadful to say that at the least. 1 to 2 TM is being lucky. Unfortunately, I did not penetrate at the side of the turret, but it doesn't change the fact that we can go for a redemption. And we will redeem ourselves, fellas. I have no doubts we will redeem ourselves. Good. Even though this is not a penetration, this is at this point it is some sort of farming simulator to the certain level, right? At least this is how am I looking into all of this. Tier 9, how are you doing? Beautiful shot straight in the face, nice. In this situation, all we need to do, we need to, we need to pay attention how enemies are peeking and just slap them for their peaks. And pay attention at the gun of this tank. It is nuts, fellas. It is truly nuts and this tank is capable of of punishing everyone and you know to have a reliable gun to have extremely good uh, uh, speed of the tank i mean that's powerful that is powerful you know what we need for a full happiness at the moment fellas you know what we need for a full happiness since it is the most popular tank in the world of tanks you know what is happening with the most popular tanks in the world of tanks? You know, you know the memes, uh, the meme about Progetto and whatnot. So watch out, fellas, watch out. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That would be hilarious, don't you think so? Okay, so very, very nice start. I'm super happy about this. Two point five thousand damage um, farmed in this way. And I think at the moment we can start making pressure. Skill, how to make pressure. Don't think. Just turn off the brain and just go. Uh, without too much thoughts, without too much energy, just... That's it. We are making pressure. In fact, we will even load the high explosive ammunition for this budget. If he would be so brave to say, Oh, maybe there is a Leo which I could clip, you know? If he would be that brave, we would slap him. And if he is not going to be so brave, we are going to try to punish uh, some sniper schnitzels here. Do they have any sp sniper schnitzels? Doesn't look like it. Honestly, it doesn't look like it. Fellas, riding T95. I could say, Nya! Fellas, skill you will kill your performance. I don't care about my performance skill. That's not good. Shit. Shh. Fellas, I need to. I truly need to. Okay? I, I, I do not really think I have any other choice. Guys, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are doing well and... Fellas, there is only one way to say the things and you know what? We are enjoying ourselves. We are having a great time in this... worth it. Fellas, 
I hope that T95 enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, it was glorious. It is a ride which I never forget. And uh, I have a bad news for T95. He is not the first one I have done this to. It was amazing. 4.5 thousand damage. Beautiful. We are fifth by experience. We are first by the damage even with this riding stuff. Uh, and we got 54,000 credit profits. Absolutely glorious. I mean, it is a great tank. What do you want me to say? Okay, fellas, last but not least, we have a Ghost Town Standard Battle. There is two light tanks, which can be quite complicated to deal with, but we will try to do our best. Okay, now the question is, do, no, our light tanks will play in the field or they won't? What the? Our light tank with hard rank, I like it. More hit points for a light tank. Hmm, interesting. I'm kind of disappointed he is not in the enemy team. That would be even better, but I believe it is how it is. Okay, BR is going to the middle of the field. Now, what we want to see... We want to see enemy light tank getting spotted. Unfortunately, enemy light tank is safe. And there is nothing what we can do about that. He's just safe. Not exactly what we want to see, fellas. And oh my bananas. Enemy uh, enemy BR is going uh, to make pressure on the other side. I mean, that's to be expected, to be fair with you, but fair enough. Our BR lost all the hit points. Unfortunate, but at least he has that nice V8 engine so he can hear... At least that is a positive thing, right? Uh, at the moment, I think I figured, what is up with light tanks with the hard rings? This is, this is kind of nuts, if you would ask me. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is nuts. With equipment setups like this. Okay, what is the goal? The goal is to slap this EBR making some kind of uh, silly goose mistake. And silly goose mistake he will. You know this and I know this. Beautiful shot. 580 in the face. So you up there, right? I mean, if I would be him, I would be disappointed with this wrong turn, if you know what I mean. Enemy Arta is shooting uh, APs. I just got slapped by the Vaka for 900 damage, which uh, made my butt bleed, but oh well. What can you do about this? Not much, I guess. And now we can enjoy punishing this 140. If we are going to aim properly, and I have no doubts that we will, we are going to feel great and we will make sure that this side will be eliminated, you know? That's that's what we need and that's what we want to see. Mm -hmm. Enemy object is shooting APs left, right and center, I'm telling you. This is, this is nuts what is happening. Okay, let's see how we could get involved and how we could make a bit of pressure for the enemies. Or alternatively, how we can have a safe defense parameter in this situation, you know? What is the position from where we can be useful and from where we can slap the enemy forces? I can see us to be moving through the middle. That is good. That is very, very good. How about this Vaka? Remember me? Yeah, you hit me before, but now we need to have a conversation. Now we need to have a conversation, buddy. I want him to go a bit back. Actually, let's go for a, this pixel shot. Unfortunately, I missed it, but that's okay. And now I want to be somewhere nearby to help our Progetto to deal with Leo. In fact, our Progetto is feeling real good. I mean, he doesn't uh, care about the situation and that is fear. Uh huh. What we should do in this situation, fellas? Everyone is spotted apart the E4. That being said, I think we can start uh, making more pressure towards this uh, lane. I think this is the correct play. Plus, on top of that, what we can do and what I will do is. Oh! Hello there. How was your AP gaming going? I have a feeling 261 is regretting his life choices and uh, is thinking, oh my bananas, that's what I needed for a full happiness indeed. I see the C4, don't you worry. 
four seconds left but you know what i do not really care about this why so because we have a beautiful jack panzer sitting here so all we need to do we need to farm him so once again pretty pretty good performance pretty good tank overall there is not many things to complain whenever you are playing leo apart that you you do not have armor right but let's get real not every tank uh, has armor in the game and uh, you do not with some tanks armor is kind of irrelevant you know whenever you have so many beautiful traits um, you have a great gun handling you have a great mobility and everything if leo one would have armor of let's say one four or 430 you or the same as to be i mean the tank would be level of of uh, uh, broken for sure right we can we can easily say that meanwhile there is a light tank sitting here he's trying to enjoy himself as much as he physically and possibly can but uh, you know enjoyment levels of his uh, will drop drastically down whenever we will start making pressure like this and pressure we will we are going to make a pressure in a moment Meanwhile, a very beautiful ass of the E4. E4 is questioning his life choices. Although, to be fair with you, LT100 questioned his life choices twice, twice more. Uh, yes, you saw that correctly. He jumped from the cliff. I'm not joking that gentleman jumped from the cliff. Meanwhile, what I would love to see, I would love to see a couple of penetrations. Oh, yeah. Greedy, 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 greedy skill. <laughs> greedy skill. It's okay. I deserve this. I was I was kind of aggressive, so I cannot complain about that, right? Let's see the score. And we are back with a casual 5,000 damage, 500 assisting damage, and overall very, very strong session. Uh, session. 50,000 profits. What a beautiful tank this is. So our gaming for today was 4.9 thousand damage uh, and 1.1 thousand assisting damage. And keep this in mind, this is with me trolling, right? With me riding the T95 and whatnot. If I would uh, play more seriously, I have no doubts whatsoever that the score would be probably 5,000 plus. But you know what? Not everything is about the damage. Not everything is about uh, WN8. Sometimes you need to have fun and sometimes you need to enjoy yourself in this way. Anyways, fellas, I hope you were entertained. I hope I showed you how to play with Leo 1 and I hope you enjoyed yourself and had a great time together with us. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.